Here with men's soccer head coach Kyle Gukins following Stetson's 1-0 win over Florida Southern in exhibition play. Uh, coach, give us your thoughts and impressions on the game tonight. I'm, I'm extremely excited for the season after tonight. Um, I think the guys responded from the last game and we were just talking. We seem to get better each training session, each game, each half. So from the first half to the second half, you probably saw massive improvement in the guys. And, and that's a testament to them. They're listening, they're buying in, and then they're just applying it on the field. And I, I thought tonight we were very good. There's still a lot of room for improvement. I mean, we only scored one goal of the, I think we had, what, 17, 18 shots. Um, so that's something we can continue to work on. But the, effect, the exciting part for me is we had those chances against a good Florida Southern team. Um, so that, that's exciting for me. Um, I think we just have to now continue to work and get better for the next game. So we play another tough team in a couple days. Um, so the guys are going to recover tonight and then get ready for that next game. Well, your offense is coming along. It looks like the defense is uh, pretty good uh, to start the year. You've played 180 minutes and allowed just the one goal. Yeah, and I'm a bit upset about the one goal. Um, I, I think the testament to the guys, it's not just the back four, the goalkeeper. It, we defend from the front. I think if you watch the guys, the forwards, uh, I mean, Elvis, I mean, that guy ran as much as he could tonight. Um, it's pretty impressive, the work rate he has, and the guys behind him, the next four, and then the, the holding midfielder as well, they all just really harass and press and make it easier for the back four, easier for the goalkeeper. Um, the nice part is we've had some guys kind of step up in the back four, and it's the next man up, next man up, and they've all really handled it well. Um, so I think it's more of a team defending, not necessarily the back four of the goalkeeper. I think the front guys really help because of how much they run and harass. You've got the one exhibition game left on Sunday, mm -hmm. and then uh, you're just over a week away from your season mm -hmm. opener. Mm -hmm. Are you getting close to where you feel like you know who your, your guys are going to be, your rotation guys and all of that? Um, we just talk to the guys there. The team picks itself. And so we train and the team picks itself. So I don't think it's my guys, it's the team's guys. So it's whoever's stepping up and training well they're the guys that are going to step in and play. And I think that if you saw the first game against Rollins in the game tonight, you see that there's a lot of people in a lot of different areas that they're fluctuating. And so now guys are starting to figure out the system, starting to figure out what we want. And I think you saw it more tonight. Guys are getting on the same page a little bit more. We're a little too individualistic against uh, Rollins, but we're starting to find it. Um, we have work to do. We're only like a week and a day into preseason. Um, so we, we got a little more work to do. We're getting there. But like I said, the team picks itself. The guys have a choice in that locker room. If they want to be you know, the team playing, they have to get out and train. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you.